got uh, with me today Mike Furman, who is the Corvette uh, Specialist Nationwide Corvette Sales for Crystal Chevrolet Gaithersburg, Maryland. And with us is Ben Dooling from Herndon, Virginia. And Ben is going to take delivery of his brand new 2016 Callaway SC757 Z06 Corvette. Uh, my name is Chris Chesto, Program Manager for Callaway Cars. I'd like to bring up Mike Zoner, our Managing Director. <coughs> Mike, uh, Mike is the brains behind the, uh, the new Callaway Gen 3 Supercharger that we use on not only the Callaway Corvette Z06, but also on the Stingray, the Callaway Camaro that you see beside, behind you, as well as the Callaway Truck Series. And um, just, uh, just briefly, I'll Mike, Mike explain some of the, the reasons that we're able to build an additional power style and exclusivity into what we do. Thanks, Chris. I mean, from a technical brief, uh, maybe you uh, this is actually the news you've already heard before, but uh, you know, the power part of the equation is really kind of what sets us apart as creating powerfully engineered automobiles. And you know, frankly, the power is the, is the relatively easy part to do to do this. The thing that actually uh, that differentiates us from others is that we're able to make it I mean, reliable, and drivable, and emission compliant, and, and very powerful. Powerfully engineered automobiles, and the, the key to it, actually, in the supercharger design, is addressing the thermal issues. Um, you know, horsepower is you're looking at pressure, volume, and, and temperature, and uh, increasing the pressure, the volume, lowering the temperature as much as possible. And uh, we're so happy to have Ben. This is our, our latest repeat just owner, <laughs> two time, two time owner. You know, it was, it was interesting. Mike and I were, were in Maryland uh, doing a segment, uh, upcoming segment with MotorWeek TV. So look for this white car, uh, by the way, in late September, early October on, on MPT, uh, Maryland Public Television's MotorWeek TV program, which is also syndicated uh, onto the Velocity Network. But uh, at the conclusion of our meeting, we um, we trailed the car down for keep it clean for MotorWeek. And at the end, we were probably 20 minutes away from, from Gaithersburg at the dealership. And we stopped in to see Mike, and Mike is just always busy, and I mean that sincerely in a good way, because the Corvette has been just a runaway success for Mike's, you know, Mike's business. And we, we borrowed about 20 minutes of Mike's time, and I said, you know, Mike, out of the 70 odd Callaway customers that you've, you've gotten over the years to, um, you know, purchase these vehicles, enjoy these vehicles. Our best customers seem to be the repeat customers, the ones who have bought, enjoyed, and looked to, to see what's next. Uh, can we sit down and, and call some customers? He says, Chris, I'm really busy. And again, he is. I mean, he is always busy. But he said, let me email, uh, let me send an email to, to Ben. And I, I mentioned that Ben was interested in blue cars only. And Mike had just gotten done talking to us about this this car which is behind us. Anyways, about three minutes later the phone rings and it's Ben and Mike talking on the phone. And we explained all that uh, that's new with Callaway, the 757 horsepower package. And uh, it, it didn't quite happen this fast, Ben, but basically he said, sign me up. Uh, we put the car in the trailer, brought it to our facility, the Old Lineway facility in Connecticut and California. Brought to our facility in Old Lime, Connecticut a couple weeks later finished it up, and then that's when Ben started to have sleepless nights waiting for today. <laughs> so, the more I talk, the more Ben gets antsy. <laughs> I'll let Mike speak about his, his experience with this. Well, the, the really cool thing is that they're sitting in my office, and I never have time, and they happen to show up at a point where I add minutes to, to spend, and literally, he says, you know, Ben might be looking for another Callaway. I said, really? I said, what's he looking for? And he didn't know the transmission. He knew blue was a hot button. And I said, I mentioned to him, I said, we had an Admiral Blue 16, which they only made 115 Z06s in that color. And it happens to have Twilight Blue interior, which they made, um, how many? Oh, one. Look at this one. And so uh, I called up Ben. He had a Callaway of 2011 that I sold right from here. It was sitting right there. And uh, that he actually took it from the dealership. So Mike I can imagine. Yeah. So uh, Mike had a trailer with him, and uh, within an hour, I had a sight unseen trade appraisal on his Callaway, his 2011 supersonic convertible, and uh, the rest is history. And so we sold it all. So uh, Mike's owner took it back to Connecticut. Within three weeks, he had it done, 
And he I've been sitting here for two weeks. We've already been finished. Yeah. It's been outside. <laughs> oh. No, but it worked out great because Mike had the trailer and it was just perfect karma. It just went right as planned, everything from A to Z. And uh, Ben first saw the car, uh, what, three hours ago, four hours ago? So uh, I haven't even said it yet. Oh, no. He's been waiting for everybody here. <laughs> so thank you for gonna stay away from you guys in the future. Right? You know exactly which buttons to push. It gets expensive. <laughs> well, we, we thank you for that. Uh, you know, Ben's got some great, great stories about ownership. And one of the things that we haven't told about is we are, we are having a, um, a Callaway ownership experience day, a track day, in the sports uh, uh, car driving association, SCDA. Uh, we're going to have it hold on, or not hold on, Lime Rock Park, rather. Tenth of October. So Mike's owner is spearheading here, spearheading that effort. So if you're available, well, I'm retired. You're retired. Then you're available. You're available. So what, what we'd like to present to you is this is uh, each Callaway vehicle comes with a certificate of authenticity, part of the branding of the vehicle as a Callaway Corvette. And we'd like to thank you again. Thank you. And his question is, now can I have the Bob? I can. <laughs> yeah, he's been giving me grief all day. I've been trying to put stuff in the car. And I have to track him down when I want to get in the car. But thank you again. And thank you for being part of Ben's de uh, delivery today. Ben, hold up that key fob one more time, if you would. Your break your camera. It took him four hours to get into his pocket. Now you want to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if you have any questions about uh, Callaway vehicles, uh, Mike, myself, or other associates would be glad to speak with you. We've got plenty of owners as well under the tent that love to share their stories of, of ownership. And if you haven't been up at the end of this row on the other side of the main drag, on the other side, on the right hand side, there's about 20 Callaway Corvettes, different owners have brought their their cars back. We do that every year as part of the Callaway Owners Group experience. And then of course next year we're preparing for the 30th anniversary celebration. 30 years Callaway Corvettes and we'll do that here with our Callaway reunion. So look forward to that and um, perhaps everybody can be a part of that. Thank you again. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you.